are doing good. Um, if you see me look off to the side, the baby monitor is right here. Um, my daughter should be waking up from a nap soon, so I'm trying to get this in. Um, so I totally didn't realize on my last video that the comments were off. Um, so I do apologize about that. I didn't really get any feedback on whether you guys cared if I talked about wedding stuff or not, so we're just gonna go for it. We're just gonna go for it. Um, so we're not too far into the process, the way that my mind works. Um, yes, this is way more work than I probably need to do, but with the way that my mind works and the way that his mind works, this is the best alternative <laughs> that I have found. Um, so, our binder. Um, we haven't gotten too, too, too far, mainly because I don't have a printer, so, um, I don't, I don't have a printer, but this is the wedding binder, and so the way that my mind works is I have a very hard time thinking of things in my head. I have to do it physically, I have to talk out loud, it's very hard for me to think inside my head. Especially when I'm doing 50 million things at once, I get very overwhelmed very easily. So this alternative works best for me. Like I said, I know it's more work, but it works best and it works best for him as well. He's a very visual person. I have found that when we talk about things, we are not talking about the same thing most of the time. So this works. Basically, I got this binder at Walmart because I was looking for a photo album and they didn't have any. This is what I found, which works best, honestly, better than a normal photo album because it's paper, but it's like a sticky page. And basically, you just take the corner of it. If I can grab it, hold on. It's like a little plastic. You take the corner, peel it back, and then it's a sticky page. And then you just put the page back. Yes, there's like little bubbles and bumps. Yes, it bothers me. I know. <laughs> um, but basically, what this is for is I decided um, colors, anything, anything, anything wedding related. Um, colors, reception pictures, um, centerpieces, anything. I will print and stick it in here mainly because visually when we think about things visually it's completely different things and he has to see these things together i can't say think of a mason jar because he could be thinking different sizes different widths everything and say think about that on a table with flowers and this and that. he's gonna think something differently and most of the time he can't he can't think of it i've learned that with images certain images he can create and some he can't. Um, I have to give him the visuals for him to create them. Otherwise, like he knows what a mason jar looks like, but him trying to think of a table with the setup of that nature when he's only been to like maybe two weddings in his life, it doesn't work out. So we have this. So what I did is I went on Pinterest, printed these out, and then I went to Lowe's and I took my sister and we tried our best to match paint swatches to these. Um, a lot of them we didn't find matches for mainly because the woman at Lowe's was not very nice to me. So yeah. Um, but the reason I did this is because I realized both of us possibly could like one color from one picture and one color from another picture and then he'll want to figure out what they look like together. He might be like yes, no, uh, maybe. And then you know we can stick and paste these to create something that we like um that's what that's for so and i have a couple um we don't have a wedding date yet for a couple reasons but mainly because we are planning on getting married on a sunday so the debate is do we get married on an anniversary which is on a sunday or do we get married in a month where there's a national holiday on a monday that most people are off on um, so 
and also if you live in florida there are some venues that are closed june july and august which are the summer months due to heat um, some venues do not have an inside option or if they do they cannot cater to larger parties um, so it's just like a certain thing so that also depends on which month we get married in just so you know um, but yeah, I have all kinds. I have like some based on the season because someone brought up, um, you know, I was like, oh, it could be this date or this date. And they're like, well, this one's summer and this one's fall. So those are different colors. And it's like, I will use whatever color I want to buy. I don't care. And then we have like a worst case scenario date <laughs> where like, if it's just way too much and we can't afford it, here's the colors. <laughs> for the spring wedding. Um, hopefully it does not have the result to that, but my favorite is like white, red, and green. I like the boldness of the colors. I think it's beautiful. I think it's gorgeous. I think it's simple. It's like a very simple, elegant, absolutely love it. It's deep, it's rich. And I like the gray too. I really like the gray. The thought of him in a gray suit. Ooh. And you know, like I'm not a big fan of the pink in this, but I think this would be cute too as well. So, and the good thing is that some of these are similar in color. So when I go back to Lowe's, I can just grab like multiples of the same color. Thankfully. And when I was talking about reception pictures, some of these you can they already have it in there um but just for example this one has a couple where like the table is decorated a certain way the invitations the dresses like, there's a lot of things that go into weddings <laughs> a lot of thought a lot of planning so because if i just want them colors me just showing them colors is not going to do anything because i can show him these colors and he can like the colors but then he could think the plates are a certain color the table's a certain color, like it's, it's a thing. It's a vibe. It's not a vibe. That's why weddings are so stressful. But I've learned, you know, I'm a folly girl. October is my favorite month. Fall is my favorite season. Um, October is considered peak season for weddings down here in Florida because fall and winter, we don't get snow and stuff. And only in the past couple of years have it been cold. But it's Florida, so it gets so much better. And I'm pretty sure that's just wedding season in general. But definitely down here in Florida. So, unfortunately, we're not going to be getting married in October. But it still doesn't mean I don't like the colors. I learned that, like, oranges and browns look really good together. They pop. I'm also a really big fan of, like, the sunset wedding look. Um, and I found an alternative version for summer, but basically it's pinks, oranges, reds, literally like a sunset, which is absolutely perfect to me. Hopefully I can get him on board with something like that. Um, if not the other things, because he wants to be a part of the planning. I know some men don't, he wants to be. Um, he is very much the final say of yes and no he's a lot pickier than i am when it comes to certain things um so this is kind of like these are the approved colors you pick out of these colors kind of thing um so but yeah this is just basically just showing you like what i got and then like i said um i have like a doll like i literally have them by like season and stuff um but eventually i'll have like pictures of receptions centerpieces things of that nature so we can figure this all out and also it will make it easier for the venue when they're helping us set up things of that nature as well and then at the end i have these folders because we have a couple of venue tours and i already made like google docs that I took information for their website so I can print it out and put them in here so that when we decide we have their information. Um, 
and it makes it easier so I'm not like scrolling on multiple different apps trying to show him pictures and things because he's if I if we spend 10 minutes looking at you know 20 different things he's not going to remember all those 20 different things I wouldn't remember all those 20 different things and so it just makes life easier for us it makes it easier for us And then, oh, I thought I had the prize back here. I think it was like $15. But I like it. I think it's cool. I like that it's like a binder style. So I can add more pages or more things if I want to. So, yeah, this is my wedding binder. Um... I will probably be making videos in the future of me adding stuff to the binder, things of that nature. So, yeah. Also, October is coming, Halloween is coming, there's definitely going to be quite a few videos coming out regarding that, which we'll get to when they come out, um, but just thank you guys for watching, I hope you're doing okay, see you later.